Hey everyone, it's Ben from Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at what goes into my car survival kit. So my vehicle survival kit or vehicle emergency kit is a two-part kit. There's some items that stay in the vehicle, items like that you would need if you have a breakdown or something like that. And then I also have a bag, a go bag or a get home bag that I can load up and that also has items in it should I need to leave my vehicle, let's say stuck in a traffic jam that's not going to move or other circumstance such as that. The pieces of my kit are stored in the back of my vehicle and I do wanna get a crate or something for those items that would stay in the vehicle should I need to exit. Of course, I have my go bag or my emergency kit bag that I could easily take with me should I need to uh, leave the vehicle and head for home or head for a safer location. So underneath the cargo compartment, I have a little tray. Now, people with an SUV may have something similar. This is where I keep just kind of odds and ends should I face a road hazard, flat tire, or something like that, maybe a um, car accident or something like that where I needed uh, equipment to deal with that. So first thing up top here is I have a high visibility safety vest. Very good idea if you're changing a tire, very good idea if you're exiting your vehicle on a busy roadway or highway for any reason, putting that on. These are very cheap and it could certainly save your life. I have a couple pairs of gloves for things like changing tires. You know, maybe I have to hook up a chain or a toe strap or something like that. Having a pair of heavy duty, high visible gloves is a good idea. I also keep a second set in here, mainly for when I'm camping or, you know, going hiking or something, going out in the woods. If I forget a pair, I just have a secondary pair in the car. And then I have uh, different, you know, ropes and bungees. It's always a good idea to have some of these ratchet straps. I use these all the time. Maybe I'm towing a trailer. Uh, you know, if I need to ratchet something down, these can come in handy. You can get these in like a four pack uh, for relatively uh, an inexpensive price. I have a couple glow sticks here. I do want to get some flares, but in the meantime, I just have glow sticks. You could set these out. Um, you know on the road if you're changing a tire at night or something you could also hook a string to these and you know wave them in the air to signal somebody I have a few different bungees just different tie straps um, some clips some tarp tarp clips uh, my hitch some accessories for the hitch and then I just have some rope here uh, mainly use that for a uh, dog tie out but I've used it for you know uh, tethering a boat to a dock all sorts of things it's just good to have um, some pretty decent rope on hand. So other parts of my kit that aren't in a bag would be this heavy duty toe strap. Uh, these come in really handy in the winter, for example, you can pull people out of ditches. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of different uses you could use this for. It's always good to have a heavy duty toe strap, especially if you don't have a winch on your vehicle. I have a uh, spotlight. I did use the uh, TN36 UT uh, from Thrunite, but I've replaced it with the TN40 because this is definitely more of a spotlight. Good item to have in a car. Uh, you know, maybe someone's down in the ditch. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you're looking for a, a lost dog or, you know, someone stranded or lost. Definitely having a good searchlight in the car comes in really handy. And it also has low modes. You could set it up on its... Uh, on its tail there, changing a tire or something like that. It's gonna give you the illumination you need uh, to see under a vehicle or in a hood. Another item I keep in the car and is a great thing to have on you is this Anchor Portable Jump Start Pack. You can jump start your car, you can charge up your car battery. It's got the uh, clamps to do so. Main unit here can fully jump even a fully dead uh, car. So that works awesome. It's also got some USB ports on it here that you could use to charge your devices. So it's sort of like a battery backup as well. It's also got a little flashlight on the, uh, on the end here. So you could use that for, again, changing a tire or something like that. It's also got a little beacon mode or an SOS mode that you could set on the top of your vehicle uh, to, you know, to let people know that you need help. It's been in the car for a while now, probably a month or two, and it's at 96%, so it seems to stay charged really well, but you just basically hook up the cables and then you can jump start your vehicle with it, which is fantastic. You don't need to carry uh, jumper cables, and uh, uh, you know, again, you can charge your electronics 
uh, your cell phone or something like that off this unit as well. Next item here is some of this fire uh, suppression spray, basically like a mini, um, you know, fire extinguisher. Very handy if you have an engine fire or something like that. Very small contained package that's very easy to keep in the car. And then I have two three liter jugs of water. These are great, obviously, to have in the car if you get stuck on the road or something like that, can't move, you're in a traffic jam. You can certainly, uh, you know, this water will certainly come in handy. I like these over the gallon jugs because these seem to be a little bit more heavy duty plastic. Uh, you know, I used to carry just the gallon jugs in my car, uh, but they sort of just wear out and uh, tend to leak over time. The caps aren't on as well in, in my experience. So I like these ice mountain ones. The only problem with these is that they, you know, they're, they're not very easy to carry. They're not very portable. But for me, it's like, uh, you know, just having uh, a couple jugs of water in your car and I can easily transfer that to a container should I have to exit the vehicle and uh, leave without it. Since I'm always out and about, I usually have like camping or hiking equipment. I have an ax there, I have a tent, and I have uh, my hiking shoes. These are generally always in the vehicle. Sometimes I'm wearing flip-flops or sometimes I'm wearing, you know, not the best of shoes. So if I did have to exit the vehicle and go for a long walk, for example, these would come in very handy. So those are typically in the car with me. So then finally I have my get home bag or my go bag. You guys have seen this before if you've watched my channel for a long time. It actually, I had another one of these uh, Maxpedition Typhoon packs in foliage green. It was my get home bag, I actually sold it. Tried a few other bags and then I actually came back to it just because I like the fact that it's small and portable. It doesn't take up too much room in my vehicle. I can slide it under my seat, for example, and it holds just you know the right amount of stuff that I need to have for this type of pack. So on the front, I just have a couple clips here. Those are handy for just hanging things, you know, like a water bottle or, you know, something I pick up along the way. Can definitely clip things to that. I have a backup folding knife. So if I don't have my, you know, my EDC knife on me at the time, there's always a knife on this pack. On this side, it has a built-in uh, flashlight holder. So I have the, uh, the Claris, I think this is the XT11S. Uh, flashlight, a great flashlight, back up to the spot flashlight uh, that I wouldn't take if I was exiting the vehicle, so I you know, want to have a light if I exit the vehicle. Another thing that's great about this is that it's USB rechargeable, so not only can I recharge the uh, flashlight itself, but I can, I can also use the flashlight to, to recharge 18650 batteries. Pop one in, recharge it, take it out, pop another 18650 in, and charge it. So that works great. It's another reason to have a USB rechargeable flashlight. Uh, in your kit. Down here in the bottom there's just a zip pack here. I just have some odds and ends, uh, some live fire, I have some uh, stormproof matches, a ferro rod, and then a compass which has a whistle on it. So sort of just some survival kit items down in the bottom of the pack here. On the other side here I just have a Gerber knife. This is the LMF knife. It's got a window breaker up top here and obviously would work great as a uh, you know a knife uh, a survival knife but it fits great on this pack so I, I chose to use it um, there's also a spot down here where I think I'm gonna get another like a Maxpedition barnacle pack or pouch and uh, put it on there and throw the fire starting items in that as well so if I wanted to just take the knife with me I could uh, without the pack uh, if I wanted that option too and then up top here I have uh, again just some quick and easy grab items I have some uh, bug repellent I actually just used this a minute ago because I was getting eaten up while filming this video so a uh, great thing to have in there I have a headlamp I'm always grabbing for this whether you know you're changing a tire or you know if I just forget it or something and I need to look in the hood uh, you know it's not always easy to hold a flashlight especially if you're by yourself so a, uh, a headlamp is definitely something that's great to have and if you have to exit your vehicle you know this has a flashing red light on it so if I was walking down a highway or something like that or a busy road I could uh, let others know that I'm there and then of course I have that vest that I could wear as well just to keep to keep safe I have the uh, pocket shot, slingshot. I just carry this thing with me because I love it. It's just, it's so small and portable. I can just, you know, if I'm not doing anything, I can pull this out of my pack and just fling rocks and things like that and have fun. We actually used this a lot when we were uh, up north this past weekend. So I do have a video coming up. They have a new arrow pouch for this. So I'll be showing that off, but a uh, cool little item. Takes up no room, it's very lightweight. And you can fling rocks, 
something fun to do and I guess you could use it for small game hunting if you had to uh, to uh, exit the vehicle. <clears throat> I have a bunch of uh, beef jerky sticks here. I just buy these on sale. I think these were like 50 cents a piece or something like that. So, uh, you know, with this go bag or get home bag, I don't plan on being out very long. That's why I don't really have shelter or anything in here. Uh, I do have some survival blankets in here just in case, you know, there was an accident or something. Or if I did have to, you know, spend the night in my vehicle, I could, you know, make a microclimate that way. But I don't plan on being gone for very long if I have to, you know, exit my vehicle. So I don't take a full, you know, meal plan or anything like that. Just some, just some snack food to keep you going. And then I also have... Uh, a little container here with a water filter so if i didn't have you know any water didn't bring any water with me i could uh um, you know in michigan you're not very far from a river lake or stream pretty much anywhere you go so uh, i could certainly um use this water filter and uh and collect some water that way all right then on down here to the uh, pouch below that i have uh some gloves so I don't have to worry about taking gloves from the vehicle. I have these, I have a bandana, that can definitely come in handy. Clean your hands, uh, you know, filter uh, debris out of water, wear it on your head if it's really hot out or something like that. I have a couple bungees in here, pretty useful items. I have some cordage, Titan Paracord, which is the best, par best paracord you can buy. And then down here I just have two of these uh, Midland walkie-talkies. These have weather on them, so you know if your car battery dies or your, you know, uh, you know you, your car just won't run or something like that, you can still have access to uh, weather on there, and you can still have communication should someone have to go for, uh, you know, maybe you run out of gas and somebody has to go get gas. Uh, you can give one of these to the other person, and you'll have a couple mile range. That way, they're also good for carpooling. So if you're, you know, going to be carpooling with a another party or something like that you know you can you can throw them one of these and be able to communicate back and forth very easily then we can head into the uh, main compartment here and the main compartment is just uh, pretty much several kits that I have I have a lock pit pick uh, set here this is a sparrows set that's got uh, all different uh, rakes and all different picks um, and different uh, different sets there so I can pick a lot of different locks uh, with this it's also something that you know it's fun to do when I go to people's houses if they have a lock I'll try to pick it things like that so I keep that in the car you know good for urban environment so I figure good to keep in the vehicle I have two uh, of the Maxpedition micro uh, organizers one of these is a power pack so I have uh, triple a's and double a's with the uh the goal zero i believe it's the guide 10 triple a's and double a's uh in there and the ability to recharge those a couple different cables micro usb and lightning and i also have a battery backup always using this so i do keep it charged and i keep it in the kit here and then there's just several other cables a lighter adapter and things like that that goes really well with my anchor solar panel you know if i do need a quick charge i can lay this on the hood of my car and charge up the battery bank during the day for example and then charge up my devices at night in the other maxpedition micro organizer here this is sort of just like a tool kit something that's great to have in a vehicle i got the super tool and then i have all the different bits that uh that go with that and the uh the bit adapter bit driver adapter here so I have you know all sorts of different uh, you know bits and things that I might need a small pair of vice grips some super glue a uh, just a little through night flashlight little redundancy there a uh, sharpie some uh, WD-40 and then in the back here I have some gorilla tape around a uh, credit card and uh, some zip ties so just sort of like a little mini fix it kit I'm always grabbing for you know either the uh, the uh, Leatherman out of here or maybe the uh, you know the WD-40 to uh, loosen you know a uh, stuck screw or something I used it the other day to, to undo a screw on my license plate so handy to have in the vehicle and I keep it uh, in this sort of go bag then I have a uh, stainless steel container I can throw this right in the fire and boil water to purify it so what I would do is I would take my water that I have in the vehicle here and then I would just transfer that into here 
uh, drink a bunch of it and then transfer some more so that it, I at least had some water for me on the go. If I ran out of water, I'd of course have to filter water or boil water. Uh, but I have this and then I have that other roll up uh, bag, which I believe is a liter as well. So uh, get a couple, uh, a couple liters of water there anyway. So that works, works really good. And then finally in here, I have a uh, first aid kit. Um, this is the uh, Maxpedition FR1 pouch. I put some red ties on it just to kind of signify that it's that it's first aid, something that you can really quickly grab. Now, this is sort of just a work in progress. I just have a Israeli bandage up front. I have a little med kit here that I put together myself. It's got tons of things, band-aids, steri strips, gauze, gauze pads, a bunch of different medications, Advil, Alka-Seltzer, anti-diarrheal. Uh, it's got sunscreen in it. It's got floss, you know, Visine. Uh, all sorts of different things uh, in the medical kit there. Then I just have some of this uh, Neosporin to go spray. Stuff works really good if you get like a uh, you know a scrape or something you can spray it with that. I have a couple of Titan uh, emergency blankets. Awesome emergency blankets. Again I could use these to uh, you know keep warm if I had to exit the vehicle. I could create a micro shelter in my car if I had to stay in my vehicle. I could either you know direct sunlight in or direct sunlight out depending on time of the year and then the back here there's just some quick clot so sort of a work in progress here I, I do have a lot more room uh, in this pouch but uh, that's what I have in it so far so that's about it when it comes to my vehicle kit or my you know my get home bag sort of a two-part thing like I said I have the uh, equipment in the car I do need to get like a tote maybe like a, uh, a milk um, jug container or something like that a milk crate that I could put things like that toe strap in the water in and things like that but I can transfer that water into my pack if I had to leave the vehicle and then I have the other essentials in that pack should I have to do so I really just stick to the items that I commonly would use I mean I'm constantly grabbing in that bag for things like I said the bug spray or you know, uh, you know the Leatherman or something like that things that I usually do carry on me in an everyday basis but if I didn't they're there so it's sort of like a toolkit that you keep in the car that I can also take with me in the event I did need to exit the vehicle again I don't plan on it being a long time from the time I would have to exit my vehicle till I get home so I don't have things in there like a full-on shelter I don't have a whole bunch of food in there just some stuff to get me by should I have to walk down the highway in a traffic jam or you know a breakdown in the middle of nowhere you know I can get out I can I can signal uh, for rescue or you know I can do things like use my cell phone and keep it charged with the battery pack that's in there I like that anchor jump start thing you know works great to keep you know your car uh, running if your battery dies on you also to charge your devices as just another backup you know survival items are all about redundancy so you know I do have multiple flashlights again I wouldn't take the spotlight with me if I exited the vehicle unless I was doing a search and rescue rescue but otherwise I'm gonna take the little flashlight that's in my pack having a headlamp comes in really handy should you have to change a tire or again to keep yourself illuminated should you have to walk uh, down the highway so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up for me. I hope you leave me some comments below on things that you might carry that that I don't or some suggestions you may have. I try to keep it simple. You know, simple works best for me when I'm building my kits. I hope you guys share this video on social media to your friends and family. I hope you also follow me on my social media. And as always, guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button and subscribe for more videos.